Welcome to Creativity TV. On today's show, do crafts designer Sheila Halliwell shows us how to get the best from the Me To You clear outline stickers. Roll VT. Hi, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this kinetic thank you card. We call it kinetic because it has moving parts. To make this card, we're going to be using the creative paper crafting kit from the Me To You collection along with some of the clear stickers from the same collection. So to begin with, we're going to use a five by seven card blank and we're going to do a little bit of matting and layering to create a couple of layers. So we've taken some of the Anita's Miri card and we're going to stick this in position onto our card blank. And we're going to put this along the left hand side of the card blank. When you've stuck that down, we're going to place a slightly smaller rectangle of paper onto that panel. And we're going to apply some adhesive using the tape runner. And then put that into place so that you have a silver edge visible around the outside. And then we're going to repeat that step, but this time we're going to use a contrasting piece of paper, still with the same colours, but with butterflies on. Once you've applied your runner there, then you can again stick that in place onto your rectangle of mirror card. Press it down firmly and then we're going to apply that to our card base but using foam pads to raise it up a level. So we're going to apply this to the centre of the card, making sure that we leave a matching gap both at the top and the bottom so that we can then apply some decoration to those areas later. Okay, so the next step is to apply one of the Me To You clear stickers. And these again, you just peel back from the sheet and they're adhesive on the back. So I'm going to turn my card round just while I apply this. I'm going to apply it evenly along the edge, press it down and then trim off any excess. Now we're going to take a different sheet and this has got the bears on and butterflies, flowers and some swells. So we're going to decorate the background with some of the swells. And we're going to apply that in the little space that we've left at the top here. And again, repeat the same at the bottom. So take off another swell. Once we've applied those two swells, we're going to apply one of the butterfly stickers, which also has a swell trailing from it. And that is going to stick onto the left of the smaller raised panel. Right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pierce some holes around an oval shape that I've cut from a plain piece of pink paper which also comes in the paper crafting kit. I'm going to place it onto my piercing mat and with my retractable pokey tool I'm going to do some dots all around the edge. So basically you just need to start to stab little holes all the way around the edge of the oval. And once you've put the last hole in, then we're going to join up the holes with a silver pen. Now just bring your pen round and let it drop into each of the holes. Remember, we're trying to create what looks like something that's been stitched on a sewing machine, so it doesn't have to be perfectly straight. And this is the effect you'll get once you've done the holes and drawn the lines with your pen. Once you've completed your stitching, then you need to stick the oval in place onto the smallest panel on your card and we'll do that again using our glue runner and press it into position and that is then the base of your card done. What we're going to do next is apply some of the clear stickers to just plain cream card because we want to obtain this effect with the help of our permanent marker pens. On here we have some little flowers and again I'm just going to apply tiny bit of colour on top of the sticker. All that's left for you to do now, once you've added your colour, is to cut around the bear so that you cut it from the card. And then once you've cut the last little piece, you'll end up with something like that. I've also stuck a little bear sticker, which is just his head, and I'm going to cut along the edge here. I've put it onto cream card, so what we need to do is just cut around his paws because we want it to look like he's holding the chain that the other bear is swinging from. What we need to do next is to pierce a hole with the pokey tool just in between the bear's paws. And then we need to take the sticker that we coloured in and we need to poke a hole just to the top of the swing here. 
and then we're going to place some jump rings through there to form a chain. So you just need to take a pair of the flat nose pliers, place the jump ring in it, and then with another pair of flat nose pliers, grab the other side of the jump ring and gently pull one side towards you. That will open the jump ring, which then allows you to put another ring onto there. Okay, so while that ring is open, we can now put another ring onto there and then close that up. So we now have two rings hanging. If you take one of those rings and open that ring again in exactly the same way, so again with the pliers, pull the ring towards you and then open the jump ring that you've just put onto there, pulling it towards you, apply another ring, close it up and then we now have a chain, five rings. Open the top ring of the chain, pull the ring towards you and then we're going to feed that ring through the hole that we made in one of the bears, close it up nice and tight. So our bear then has the chain hanging from him. Okay, so we're going to open the jump ring and I'm going to turn the teddy bear stick around so that the coloured section is facing me and place that onto the jump ring. So when we turn that round, the bear should be hanging the right way from the chain. What we need to do now is we need to apply these bears to our card and I'm going to attach them by using the 3D foam pads only on the back of the small bear because we want the other bear to just hang free. So I've put three of the pads on the back and now we're going to sit this onto the card and we're going to put it on just above the silver edge. So we want to let it overhang the card ever so slightly so that the bear's paws hang down over the panel like that. So now we're going to apply another bear sticker and we've put foam pads just down one edge of the back of the bear just so that it sits nice and comfortably to the left hand side of the main panel. So we just line that up with the bottom of the card and then fix that into place. We're now going to add a little greeting and this is again a sticker, thank you sticker, which we just peel off the sheet, already adhesive on the back and we're going to place that onto the bottom right so that it overlaps both the panel and the oval. So then what we're going to do is we're going to apply some of the clear butterfly stickers and I'm going to stick them onto pink paper to match the oval on our card, cut around them and then apply them to the card with 3D pads. So you just take your sticker from the sheet, place it onto a little piece of pink paper and then cut around it. Once you've cut it out, you can fold it in half so as to make the wings sit proud when we put it on the card. So all that remains for us to do now is once we've put a little foam pad on the back of each of the butterflies, we're going to stick them in place and we're going to attach them to the card where we placed the swirls right at the beginning of the demonstration. And then we apply the third one over the butterfly sticker that we put on at the beginning, just to give it some dimension. And there is our finished card. Sheila's used some really clever techniques on this card because it can sometimes be a little bit tricky to make clear stickers into a really strong focal point. I've seen lots of card makers talk about the Tatty Teddy on Craft Talk and they love him. They really do, but it's not just for card makers. I've made this 8x8 layout using the same creative paper crafting kit that Sheila used. It's the perfect way to make the transition from card making to scrapbooking and would make an ideal gift for a crafty friend. Don't forget, you can find all the details of the projects featured in today's show here in the Creativity Club at docrafts.com. And if you have used the Me To You range, why don't you send us in your projects? Email us at tv at docrafts.com. And until next time, happy crafting! <laughs>